Well, and I, I in my intro, I invoked uh, Ruby Rich's uh, New Queer Cinema, and what what was your perspective on that? I mean, that I mean, this was oh, right part at the or, or beginning of that, really. I I think that I was I was a little older, and I was maybe part of it in the same way that you know I was between say Derek German and Greg Araki and Todd Haynes. Um, I was in the middle, and so I don't know if I, I mean all of us, particularly Derek, um, were like students of experimental film like we would i would go to lacma all the time and and watch as many evenings of experimental cinema as i could or when i was in new york at the anthology film archives um and derek obviously was very influenced by by that that period in the 60s um and then later as well or earlier 50s and 40s and late and going on into the 70s but um um i think the new queer cinema was maybe the next generation, I always felt. But I guess it's still queer in its way. And um, One, maybe not as militant as, as maybe the, yeah. they might have been. But one, one of the, as I understand it, one of the things that did change a bit in the course of production was whether or not both Mike and Scott were gay characters, right? Oh yeah, that's a. Um, they weren't actually um, in the original screenplay. They were, they were straight street hustlers who um, did things for money, and when uh, <clears throat> River arrived uh, from his his um, film that he had done in Seattle called Dogfight, a Nancy Savoka film, he had brought with him as Nancy Savoka. One of her people in the art department was from ACT UP, um, Matt Ebert, and so Matt was you know very close to River and he says, your character has to be gay. You have to be gay. You just have, you know, promise me. And so there was a request by them because it, it wasn't really sp part of it. Part of, I think, the uh, incongruity of their lives was that they weren't homosexual. They were heterosexual doing homosexual things. Um, and I thought, but I see, you know, I see the value and yes, you can totally, there are gay hustlers and you can be one. So that was that was a, a sort of a pushing from Matt Ebert to push his character into like a gay character who had a crush on his friend Scott. I mean it does add a whole different dimension in a way. Yeah. I mean it's kind of the dimension of of love, right? So Yeah. I feel like the film wouldn't be the same without. I think he was right. <laughs> More bleak, yeah. Probably. I mean it's a pretty bleak film anyway. 